Wuku are attacking the monastery again. I bet the monks have taken shelter in the main temple.
abbot is badly wounded and cannot come outside. But we all thank you for your help. I hope the pirates will finally leave us alone. What were they looking for, do you think? Once upon a time, our temple was the largest in the province. And a legend tells of an ancient relic that was kept in one of the caves. It possessed great power, and only a few chosen monks were allowed to come near it. Two hundred years ago, a strong earthquake destroyed a large part of the complex. It was then decided to move the relic to another, safer location, and the monastery soon fell into decline. The pirates could have found out about this relic from an ancient text written before the catastrophe. Do you know where the relic was taken after the earthquake? No clear records remain, but legends usually mention the Temple of Upper Heaven on one of the peaks of Huangshan. Thank you. This information may be of great help. The monks think that the Wuku are seeking an ancient relic that used to be kept in their monastery, but was moved to the Temple of Upper Heaven on Huangshang. The Taoist Temple has one relic, this one has another. They're more like Tomb Raiders than pirates. This is all very strange. If you remember, Shang Lung said that the Wuku were also looking for something specific in the monastery on Mount Putuo. Putuo and Zhuhua are sacred Buddhist mountains, while Long Hu, where we found the first relic, is one of the sacred mountains of Taoism. This reminds me of an ancient legend, but I need to check it first. You certainly will. But first, send a letter to Wong Tai Xin and tell him everything that we have learned. Then, we shall get a group together and visit this temple of Upper Heaven. Its inhabitants may also be in danger. Bad sign.
You can't get through here while the pump is broken. I'll have to force my way through the grass.
Goku won't dare to poke their noses in here again. It's easy to get stuck here.
Looks like these boxes contained mostly food and supplies. I should tell the farmers in the neighboring village. They'll find these useful.
away from the holy relic and leave at once, or you'll share the same fate as your minions. Damn, I ran out of time. I told Fudo that he should have ended you a long time ago, but he wouldn't budge. Blasted monastic solidarity. Fudo is a monk? Oops, perhaps I've said too much. Or have I? <laughs> yes, he's a monk. A Japanese one, of course, a Sohei. He frets that so many people have had to suffer, but still justifies his behavior in the name of lofty goals. Uh, he can't be such a bore sometimes. But why keep talking about him? Let's get down to business. I'm assuming this is the relic? If by relic you mean one of the sections of the Heshibi Jade Disc, then yes, it is. My guess has been confirmed. Heshibi? According to legend, this powerful artifact endows its owner with incredible power. All the manuscripts state that the disc disappeared 300 years ago during the Mongol invasion. That's right. As the barbarian army approached the capital, the order was given to break up the disc and hide it. The capital was Hangzhou back then, so the pieces were hurriedly hidden in these parts. Why is everything always so complicated? You could have just destroyed the disc. But no, you had to split it into pieces, so that one day, some psychopath would try to unite them and take over the world. While the Heshibi is whole, the energy contained inside it is in constant circulation, and doesn't reveal itself in any way. If the disc is destroyed... This energy will be abruptly released and cause a terrible cataclysm. Right now, the disk is not whole, but the instability of the shards can be controlled if they are kept in special places where power is concentrated. The sacred mountains of the Middle Kingdom are such places. The first shard was hidden in the Taoist Temple on Mount Longhu. The second was hidden in the Buddhist Temple on Mount Juhua and later brought here. The third shard should be kept in a Confucian temple, but we don't know which one. You keep talking about the great power that this disc bestows, but what is it exactly? Heshibi erases the boundary between worlds. Its owner can summon thousands of spirits from other worlds in an instant, and they will all obey his will. He will have to pay a terrible price for it, though. The person who performs this ritual binds himself to the disc and is torn from the wheel of rebirth. The disc absorbs its owner's essence after his death, and it forever becomes a part of Heshibi. The person responsible for all this has either gone mad in their hunger for power, or has nothing left to lose. This is why the abbot suggested that we keep the shard until the conflict with the Wu Ku is over. He said that the shard will remain stable for a long time if nobody tries to use its energy. Meanwhile, they will try to find a new place to hide it. Excellent. Let's take the shard and head back to the Tulu before the scouts start following us.
While the heroes made plans, good news arrived from Wong Taishin. His informant on the Ryukyu Islands had found out some valuable information about Fudo, the Wuku leader. This person would meet them in the town of Naha, capital of Ryukyu. Half of the monks went there on Li Haibo's ship, while the other half stayed behind to protect the country from pirate raids. We've made it to Okinawa. I didn't think that I would ever come back here. They know my ship well at the local port, but I'm not exactly welcome there, so I've anchored in a secluded cove. Something tells me that you're no merchant, but a simple smuggler. An ex-smuggler? Where are you going to find a merchant as skilled with the spear as me? You're not actually that skilled with it. Ugh, you guys deserve a kick in the butt. I don't want to interrupt your fascinating conversation, but we should get down to business. The informer is waiting for us at a tea house in the center of town. Wang Tai Xin should be there already. If the Wuku are truly in league with the Ryukyu merchants, they may have people stationed all over the island. Let's split up to attract less attention. I've heard that their gang has shrunk in number lately, and that they often hire ronins, former samurais. So, be careful. Thanks for the valuable advice, but how about you help me? I need to, uh, guard the ship. From who? There's only one exit, and I'm passing through it. Keep walking then. Don't waste any time.
one less gang in the world. 